All right, Michigan Wolverines been in the news a lot this offseason and, and frankly through the spring ball period for a lot of good reasons, and they aren't done. We've got a great report out of Ann Arbor that shows that Michigan continues to be making a lot of big moves, a lot of big additions to the uh, to this program, but they're also very smart uh, moves for this program, both for the short term and the long term. Yeah, Nick, and we talked about recruiting moves and how good Michigan has done lately. I want to ask the fans, though, in the comments below, Let's go back not just this year, but all time. Who's been like the most highly touted recruit that came into Michigan and actually lived up to the hype? Who's a guy that was like the biggest recruit in Michigan came in, actually lived up to the standard, and just absolutely played lights out for the Wolverines and their career? I want to know who that guy was in the comments below. And Nick, I just think this is going to be a really big time deal for Michigan. This shows they're just getting recruit after recruit, and this one's just a little bit more special. So, what do you got on Michigan? Yeah, Miles, let's jump right into it. If you want to go ahead and pull up part of the article that we found, this is from The Athletic. Uh, Michigan lands Blake Frazier, four star offensive tackle and son of former Wolverine Steve Frazier. Michigan is putting together a deep class of offensive linemen, and Frazier stands out as a versatile lineman with a high ceiling. Frazier played right tackle as a junior at Vandergrift High School and looks capable of playing guard or tackle at the college level. He's a long, lean lineman at 6'5 and 260 pounds who's going to add power as he develops. So he's got a good frame. He's 260 now, but at 6'5, this dude will be 300, 290, 315, maybe even bigger a couple of years in Ann Arbor, of course, as he finishes his high school program. All right, Mice, I love this guy. I think obviously anytime you get a legacy guy into the fold, especially a guy who's tied to former Wolverine uh, glory days in the late 1990s, I think it's a great acquisition from Harbaugh and company to really backfill this offensive line of, uh, with a lot of high-quality young talent as they get a little older up front going into the season. Give me your thoughts on this recruiting uh, commit from Michigan and just everything going on with this program right now. Yeah, Nick, I love the legacy part because – it doesn't matter. We could go ahead and like talk about, well, this guy's from Texas and they stole a guy right out of Texas backyard backyard. But there was no chance this guy was going anywhere but Michigan, knowing who his dad was and you know the glory days that he had at Michigan. And Michigan is so close to being back there one game away uh this last season. But you know, I, I think Blake Frazier's a big time recruit. You always love a guy who when they go step, they put on the the maze. Uh, Nick, it means a little bit more to them, okay? They, you like a guy who has like some pedigree, some background to the school, some tie-ins there. Uh, they step on the field, and is a, it means a little bit more. And that's exactly what Blake Frazier has here. And this guy, he's a talented athlete. Uh, he was, you know, a regional uh, qualifier for shot put in Texas in high school. So, you know, we like guys who play multiple sports shot put isn't quite the same it's more of you know getting on your football skills but shot put nonetheless multi-sport athlete was able to perform well there in a highly competitive field in the texas 6a field so this guy's got all of the physical tools he's got the the pedigree a dad who was a big time player for michigan as well so it just seems like a natural fit and it seems like a really good pickup for this michigan offensive line yeah, especially my husband, and I kind of alluded to it earlier. They're getting a little older up front. I think they've got, depending on how position battles shake out, I think they're going to start, according to the athletic, I want to make sure I got it right. Yeah, five seniors potentially in 2023 on that offensive line, which is great for the short term. Obviously, you got a veteran experienced group as you look to build off the playoff appearances this last couple seasons, hopefully to get back to the playoff and maybe win a national title this season. But to be honest, looking forward to 2024 and beyond, it means you're going to you know lose five guys. And that's a lot of talent at a, an area where I think Michigan really relies on. That offense line is really good, and they lean on that group all that time with the way they run the football and obviously the way they like to do things in the passing game, a lot of play action, things like that. So being aggressive ahead of time in the recruiting game is really smart by Harbaugh and company. And it's not just with this guy either. According to 24-7 Sports, uh, they have the number three over overall ranked recruiting class in 2024 so far again it's early but four of their recruits of their 12 commits so far in 2024 are offensive linemen so you're going to go to tackle andrew sprague frazier uh guard luke hamilton and guard tackle ben roebuck so you got four guys there that's basically the backlog of offensive line talent coming behind the wings after this current group uh finish out their careers most likely at the end of, at the end of the next season and again it's just smart team building it's understand this is a, a a position group that's really important to this offense and making sure you create the next wave of guys after these after the current group graduates ahead of time because you don't want to be in a situation where you have a gap year where you got let's say this year happens right 2023 comes and goes whatever happens and then you got to wait a year or two to replenish you want to replenish 
now. So that way, after this season, you've got five guys ready to fill the void, step in and keep this train rolling. So obviously getting a legacy guy who's got a lot of talent, who looks like he's a great athletic specimen is a great recruiting win and it should be applauded. But I love the fact they're focusing on a position that's one, really important to how they run their offense. And two is really going to be an area they're needing to be addressed because they're going to have a lot of guys graduate after next season. So no matter how you look at it, Mize, from my perspective, this is a huge win in the commitment game for the Michigan Wolverines.